Alright uh, guys, today I'm going to show you how to refine your gold chips if, if you if you like to collect them and and you know they always seem kind of worthless like how they are because you know you don't get much off of eBay for them and I got some other types of kind of crappier pieces of gold but nonetheless gold I've been saving up for quite a while as you can see that's, that's quite a bit this is probably out of since I started. This about took me uh, a year and a half to get. But you know, I don't get that. I get I get some computers, but I don't get quite as much as I see other people online getting. And I got some uh, some of these chips too that are lots of gold on them. Like I love these things, but so far. That's all I've gotten. That's not very many, but there's an awful lot of gold prongs on those. Lots of gold prongs, as you can see. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to how to actually strip this off. It will not eat the gold, but it will strip the gold. And I'll show you the finished product when I'm done. But uh, two simple simple. Uh, chemicals you use is muriatic acid I got the safer kind because it's supposed to have less fumes and just your basic hydrogen peroxide which I got from Kroger or you can get pretty much anywhere everybody knows that but for the muriatic acid you can get it at Lowe's, Menards, Home Depot any home department store and uh, you're going to need yourself a glass jar has to be glass because uh, that's the only thing that will withstand uh, the chemicals and for some reason the chemicals only eat at metal but not p plastic and paper so yeah I got two plastic cups and uh, chemicals are already in there I got hydrogen peroxide and muriatic acid they both look like water and you can't even really tell how much I have in there but uh all you do is I don't know if we can see that no, I can't even really see. But uh, you go and you go ahead and measure yourself uh, just enough to what you think will cover however much gold, gold chips and stuff you're putting in your container. I so far I suggest not to use too much gold uh, in a jar. Just do small little batches at a time because it seems like even if you add more muriatic acid and hydrogen peroxide it seems like once it already eats some of the gold it like it's kinda like dissolving sugar in water you can only dissolve so much sugar in the water and that's what it seems to be doing like it only dissolve so much and get the gold so much and then after that it just won't it won't dissolve anymore so uh... here we go we're just gonna pour the muriatic acid in about I don't know third of a cup see it's still not covering everything yet but that's where the hydrogen peroxide comes in now as soon as I pour this hydrogen peroxide you want to have your a door open which I'm pretty much gonna uh, take this straight outside to sit for like six hours or so I'm gonna pour the hydrogen peroxide in it doesn't smoke or anything so but there are fumes that come off of it that you can't even really see. No, yeah. That just about covers almost all of mine. All my gold, which is good because I'll come around and shake it every now and then. So, uh, after I let this solution sit for six hours outside, I'll show you guys the next step on uh, how to clean and wash it and uh, then how to get all the gold together alright guys two thousand years later six and a half hours later a few inches later day two day three day four a few moments later
One eternity later. Three days later. Twelve seconds later. Three twenty-eight. AM. Three weeks later, many months later. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Alright guys, uh, it's been about 14 hours. I, I did say 6, but you know, after 6, if you wanted to, you could go ahead and uh, start straining it. But when you do 6, you have to do more than one. Uh, run of it. I still, even after 12 hours, over 12 hours, I still had to probably do another run because a lot of this uh, gold still hasn't came off. But uh, I'm really not gonna sit around and wait and keep doing one batch. I'm just gonna um, discard whatever didn't have, uh, didn't get the gold off into another bucket and just do that later and keep going with what I already have that will come off but uh I'm gonna walk around the side here got a little cup of uh what I've been pouring my chemicals in I've been leaving it outside Let's see yeah I've just been leaving it over here Okay, try to let this settle a little bit. And you're just going to pour it. Yeah, you can see that it's green, by the way. That's uh, some of the copper actually oxidizing, and since it's suspended in a acid form, it just is green. It's basically copper rust. So yeah, you're just going to try to pour it and keep all your chips in there. Because I'll show you how to get the rest of the gold out with the chips. But, uh, we're going to let that sit for a minute. And, uh, I'll show you guys inside how to wash it and how to get the rest of the gold out of here. Alright. Alright, just go back in from outside and uh most of that's drained down so I just decided to bring it in uh I do have a new cup no chemicals in there well a little bit from what dripped off of there but there you can see just a, a little bit of your uh, gold but right now it doesn't look like gold because I haven't washed it as soon as I get water on that it's going to turn a lot brighter you'll see a lot more colors uh, Gonna go ahead and turn the water on. You can pour water directly into this, into the container, glass container that you dissolved in, and just uh, shake it up real good, and just keep dumping it. Over there, so you get. See there you go. See how that's how you can see the gold now. Keep dump oh my goodness, look at that. That is so awesome. Seriously, that is so much gold. Once you start clearing it up, you'll, you'll get real excited. You start seeing a lot more of your progress up there. Try not to drop anything because, you know, your gold's in here. And, uh, once you get most of your powder out and your small flakes if you do have something like this it'll be nice to get a bunch of water and like put this on top of another cup and uh... pour all your chips in there on top of it because uh... some of the flakes tend to stick to some of the chips and then once you get this all drained out of the water you can just flip it over in here. But I'll show you that in a minute. Once uh, I get all this cleaned out. And uh, remember to continue to pour off your chemicals that come out so that the fumes don't build up. When you're done with this, it shouldn't be blue. It should be clear. The, 
the blue color is just the dilution from the green chemicals, so it's not as strong, so you're, you should be safe to bring it in once you get it mostly cleaned out, but uh, yeah, just keep cleaning it. Keep dumping water in there, keep dumping the water that has the gold inside of this, and then once you get all the gold concentrated into this filter, you start washing it with just plain <coughs> water. Alright, I just want to do a quick update. It's still taking forever, but you can still kind of see that I got quite a bit of gold in here. This and this cup was when I put this over that, and there's still some gold in there that you can see. Put that in there to strain all the chips out and stuff. Here's my little chip bin. I gotta go through this because there's some that still has gold, some that don't. That's all out of this batch that still that doesn't have any gold on it. So that's what most most of that got stripped. So that's about half of my pile that I put in. So roughly, if you wanna really make sure you get everything, do piles about that size. It's pretty small compared to that. It's not. It's not that much. But there's a lot more in here that was in there that didn't get stripped. So try to do small piles, because that's what I've noticed so far. This is like my fourth batch, and uh, it's it seems to come out better if you do smaller ones, because you have all the gold off. But uh, here's what's looking like so far. Pretty nice gold right there. That's a lot. But uh, there's so much in that little center that is actually clogging up my my filter process right now, and it's taking fucking forever. Seriously, it's taking a long time. I don't know. When is it done? I'll show you. I'll just. Well, you know what? Instead of making you guys wait, I'm just gonna show you what the finished product looks like. Pretty much, you get the you get the idea. You just once you get all the big stuff out, and most of the little stuff will fall through one of these, or you can just do it with clogged filters, but it's gonna take longer. Uh, just have them separate cup, and just keep pouring it, pouring it in there until it drains off, and then you can see that the gold that mixes in the water. <laughs> just gets drained out and then after you get all this in there go to your tap water and pour a little bit on top two or three times then get yourself after that is all done get yourself just a little bit of rubbing alcohol pour that around there and that will ensure that you get all the oils and all the other chemicals off but uh... I'll just go ahead and show you what the finished product looks like Yeah, once that dry, this is out of two runs, two different runs. So once that dries in the coffee filter, you'll get nice shiny gold just like that. Look at that. So yeah, that's what you'll get. It's not much. I'm not even sure how much it weighs, but all together, you know, that's pretty good though for just two runs and eventually I'll scrape it together get some type of vial to put it in make it all legit but uh... hope you like this uh, tutorial and uh... shoot me some comments